Who's next? Come Make on, his mother no watch. But now we'll him. really have some fun. Enough! Griff will deal with him. When he's done, he'll own this fucking house. And you'll regret what you've done here. Take your boy out of here while you still can. Roderick! Roderick! Now is not the time. Wendell, pack the extra rations. Duff, make sure the quivers are full and the torches are dry. Garrod. What's happening? We're heading north of the wall to deliver justice to brothers turned traitor. They're hiding in the woods at a place called Craster's Keep. I've been looking for volunteers. The cowards murdered Commander Mormon. I'll volunteer to go. I thank you for that. I need every sword I can get. But Brit's going to. He took his vows in the set. He's a brother now. I understand why you hate him. But bad blood could jeopardize this mission. Too many unknowns out there. I can't have my own men killing each other. I'll go in his place. I'm a better fighter than Brit. You'll want my sword before his. I don't doubt your skill, but I need every sword that's willing to go, even someone like Brit. If you do come, I need to know there won't be any trouble, even if he provokes you. Can I count on you? I need your word, Garrett. I'll be taking a chance. I'm a man of my word. I won't disappoint you. I'll hold you to that. It's a hard road to Crestus. We leave tomorrow at first light. Now why don't you go talk to those two? They volunteered as well, make sure they're ready. Dorf! Where are my arrows? Well, what did Jon Snow say? I don't think he likes us much. Definitely doesn't like you, Finn. He wants to see us work together. No more problems. That's on you. Point is... He doesn't want any problems with either of you on this Craster's mission. Well, there's something you should know, then. <laughs> I, uh, borrowed this from you. <laughs> what? I just got curious. I wanted to know why your uncle was here. It never ends with you. Oh, didn't mean no harm, honest. I just wanted a quick look. I wasn't stealing. You can't keep doing that, Cotter. Next time, ask. I did try. And you said he was just visiting. But I think there's more to it than that, isn't there? I noticed this part here. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. A rumor. No, it's not. Of course it is. I had it a witch's den where they turned children into giants. Garrett, you don't actually take it seriously, do you? It's a fairy tale. For idiots. Everyone knows that. You're wrong, Finn. It's more than a rumor. Lord Forrester found the truth, it's real. And this says it's somewhere in the north. On the other side of the wall. And here I thought you might have some brains, Garrett. You two deserve each other. Have fun chasing your tails. Good. Didn't need him anyway. What do you mean? doesn't know about the mammoths or white walkers or how to sneak past a giant what and you do but you know it's the things you hear about the rumors is all i wouldn't know myself <laughs> where'd you hear these rumors you know i can't, I can't really remember <laughs> i uh i hear things around castle black people talk
not about the North Grove they don't. You do? Probably heard you talking about it. Or, or maybe one of the recruits. Cotter, I know you're lying. I covered for you. You owe me. All right. All right. I've been on the other side of the wall, Garrett. You see, I, I live there. In the north. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. I know. I know it's crazy. I, I was with some other free folk. We were looking for weapons south of the wall. We got caught. So, so I passed myself off as a local and, well, well, they sentenced me here to Castle Black for stealing. I shouldn't be here. This isn't my place. I didn't know what else to do. Are you putting me on, Cotter? I wouldn't joke about that. They'd kill me if they found out. Are we... We still friends? I mean... I know it's a lot to take in. Don't worry. Bloodthirsty wildling or not, we're still brothers. That is good to hear. At least when Mance Raider wants to boil you alive, you'll know someone in high places. Cutter! What did I say? That shit house you fixed is still leaking! I'll be right there. I'm going back home. No matter what, Garrett. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. You know where the North Grove is? No. But I'll help you find it. I'm deserting anyway. Heading back home. I can guide you. Keep you alive. Stick with me and I'll show you the way. Plenty of things out there want to kill you. Others want to eat you. All right. Even if you are a bloodthirsty wildling. I won't let you down. Cut her! Now! Uh, on the way! Please, don't tell anyone about me. The watch would kill me if they found out. Would you look at the size of this army? Seems the Targaryen girl may take the city soon enough. We'll find Croft here, somewhere. You alright? No, it fucking hurts, Asher. And I've been through shit. Sliced, stabbed, beaten, had my face clawed off. But this... bloody dragon. Well, at least you don't smell half as bad as you did a day ago. I'll go and find this Croft. Look, Asha, back in that cave. What happened? It was him or me, right? You must have thought only one of us was making it out. It's not fair to ask. I know, it's fucking brutal. But, there you go. There was no time to think. My uncle was just the one closest. Right. Fuck. I just... I thought... Forget it. it. Doesn't matter. This is stupid. Beska, you know I'll always have your back. I'm not going anywhere. <sighs> That's horse shit, little brother. You're going home. I understand. Your house. Your family. But there's nothing for me with you in Westeros. I'll help you get your army, and then... I'm done. Beska! I... I don't Asher, understand. I know where Croft is. This Croft. How well do you know him? Too well. I thought you said you were friends. Yeah, we are. We are. Great friends. Asher fucking Forrester! Son of a poxy whore! 
You have some balls walking into my tent after all these years with that mama's monkey grin on your face. Well, that went well. All right, maybe I deserve that. That's not even a taste of what you deserve. You never understood consequences, Asher. One stupid mistake cost me an eye. But you never learn. You figured you'd steal from me and I'd just forgive you. <laughs> not a fucking chance. So how are you going to pay me back? Your eye? Your hand? Or how about your tongue? Croft, no! Be reasonable! I am reasonable! I'm letting him fucking choose! Look, Croft, what we did was wrong. I'm sorry for that. You heard him, now let him go! You're not getting out of this with a fucking apology! Croft, I deserve your anger as much as Asha. Don't worry, Beska. You're next. Now choose, or I slice off your balls, Asha. Hey, a hey, man hey! betrays my trust. There's a price Stop to be Let him go! You fucking bastard. Take my eye, then. I don't need two to kill you. Done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was bloody beautiful. Fucking Asha. You were pale as a oh. snow bear's ass! Oh. <laughs> are, you, are you fucking joking? You bloody bastard. <laughs> this is why people steal your shit and take off in the night. Come on, you assholes. Have a drink. <laughs> Joden, the Khaleesi's best wine. Your friend has an interesting sense of humor. So what in seven hells are you two doing here on the arse end of the earth, eh? You're a long way from young guy. We have a proposition for you. Your sword was always the quickest, Croft. I need you and your men to fight for me in Westeros. We need your hellhounds. A hundred good men. Am I in a hobby's tip? Would I ever go back to Westeros? I've got it good right here. Her grace pays good coin. Did this Khaleesi make you a house cat, Croft? Curled up at her feet. Since when do you turn down an adventure? Since the second son swore to Daenerys bloody Targaryen. I've laid my sword at her feet, Asher. Perhaps we could talk to her. She's a little busy right now, commanding a fucking siege. Her enemies are nailing children up on posts for a hundred miles, and a bloody dragon's gone missing. <laughs> but I know where to find her dragon. Ha! <laughs> Unfucking likely. You expect me to believe you just happened to have seen the one fucking dragon loose in the world? Orange eyes, as big as my head, scales all black. That doesn't prove anything. Enough of this nonsense. We're done here, Asher. I've got proof, you old fuck. Tell me what this is, if not a bloody dragon tooth. Uh, I wouldn't know a dragon tooth from a basilisk dick. Croft, I've seen her dragon. <sighs> Oh, bugger me with a bloody spear. If you're lying about this... Fair enough. Come on, you son of a bitch. The beast's name is Drogon. She'll want to hear about him right away. And don't think you're going to charm her with that fucking Asher grin. Day tomorrow, isn't it? Off to Craster's Keep. Assuming you're not too busy looking for your North Grove. I thought you didn't believe in it. Not saying I do. But if it was real, can you trust Cotter with it? You ask me. Is there something off about him? Aside from him being an oily thief, I mean. Like he's holding something back. Cotter's not a bad sort. I trust him. Even after you tried stealing your map? Do as you like. But if we're going out there tomorrow, in the 
middle of fucking nowhere. I want to know who I can trust. Finn, get back on watch until your relief arrives. They're late. You think Mance Raider is going to wait for them? Right. Asshole. And Tuttle, you've got torches that have gone out. Keep them lit. Let the wildlings know we're still home. to light this torch. Oh, a man could freeze to death up here. That's ironwood for sure. Uncle Duncan brought these from Ironrath. Wonder if I'll ever see it again. If anyone tries coming over the wall, well, those will stop them. So, wonder who's riding it. This must hold up the lift. It'd probably fall apart if it wasn't frozen together. Solid ice. This won't be melting anytime soon. Pig farmer. A 300 mile walk. And you're still in my way. I figured we'd settle things on the way to Craster's. But this is even better. I don't have any time for you anymore, Brit. I hate you. You hate me. Now let's move on. Had something more painful in mind. I did duty to my lord back on that bloody farm. If we're doing a proper job of it, what I get? Banished to the fucking wall! I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. Seemed only fair he should feel what it's like. Near the end, he could barely breathe. Kept begging us to leave your sister alone. So I made sure he was still alive when she started screaming. It was the last thing your father ever heard. The more we sliced, the worse it got. You're not worth it. I didn't come here to chat, you fucking cunt! Oh, come on now! Too bad your father didn't fight like that! Might still be alive. And I thought you were going to make this easy. Finally getting the hang of it, Tuttle. Stop, dammit! I don't want to fight you! What's the matter? Don't you want to make your father proud? Let's see if you scream like you're... You got lucky, pig farmer. You're going to slaughter me. Like my man back at your farm. 
At least let me have my sword. Keep it interesting. Or are you afraid? I swore my vows. I won't kill a brother. You're fucking pathetic, Tuttle. That's not a mercy.